Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode 14 of my Serious Sam 3 BFE Secret Walkthrough and Let's Play series. Uh, today's episode, we are going to be going through the level called Together Forever. It's the second uh, part of the uh, Jewel of the Nile DLC for the game. And there are four secrets, and it says 45 minutes is the estimated time, but let's see if we can do okay, less. Okay, Sam, it's about to get a little hairy. Harry was my nickname in high school. I'm not even going to ask. It's a great story. It involves goats. If I survive this, I'll force you to listen to it. Just get yourself to Abu Simbel, and I'll guide you from there. I live to serve. Alright, first off, one thing you should know is there's plenty of sniper ammo in this level, so... Take out all the harpies you want. That way they don't bother you later. I th think that's all of them here. All right. For the first secret. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's nothing I like better than destroying a place that's already been ruined. For the first secret, you'll notice that there are some cannonballs in here. What you do is go straight out from that building and hop down here. And you will end up in a cave that has a ladder. Climb the ladder. And you will end up inside that building. Where there are cannonballs and a cannon. And you can just exit through this door here. Next thing you should know is this town is flooded with those little uh, chain gunner arachnid things and they are just all over the place. I prefer to break their necks, but in the interest of saving time, I'm going to shoot some of them. Alright, for the next secret, come around here, all the way to the left. Where is it? Hold on. Ah! Alright, all the way to the left. Come around here and break down the door. Inside you'll find... Huh. A... Uh... Kamikaze that is frustrated by working with his operating system. And I guess he just has to blow up. I, I guess you can't actually kill him. Oh well. You should also know that there are, along with the uh, chain gunners, there are some bigger guys. Ow! Where'd you come from? And throughout the town there are little dumps of ammo and, and weapons and whatnot. Uh, there's one in particular that I'm looking for right now which has sniper ammo. I think I just saw it. There it is. And some armor. Alright, let's keep this going. Where are you? After you get to a certain point, NARS are going to start showing up. As well as... Yeah. 
that thing there. When you go past this wall, more Nars will start popping in. Ah! And there's some loot over here, including sniper ammo. out of here. Ah! Where'd you come from? And don't forget to look everywhere for loot because you're going to probably need a bunch of it here in a little bit. Now, just like in the previous level, there is... Ah! Some cave demon action. Ah! Me! Me! Alone! And when those harpies dive bomb, you can hit them with your axe or whatever, so do keep that in mind. Ah, I missed. Come on. Come get me. And die. All right, now let's take care of you. All right, now as you head for this little structure here, a clear will spawn inside and pop out, as well as a bunch more clear over that way. What you'll want to do is park yourself <coughs> right where the gun starts making noise but isn't shooting you. And stay here for a little while because there are bulls coming. And it's just so much easier to let the guns deal with the bulls than for you to do it. Very effective. Unfortunately, those guns don't work on harpies. I wish they did. Come on. That should be it. Ow! Gun shot me. Alright, next up, you're going to want to head over this way, but before you get over there, there's a little enclosure here that typically you'll need a key to get in, however you can just hop up on that and climb in and get the rockets, which are going to possibly come into handy, depending on your play style, for what's up next. Hop back over the wall, head towards the door, and there'll be a little dialogue. Oh, goody! A tourist attraction! Did you make it to Abu Simbel? Yeah, but looks like Wally World is closed. Moose out front should have told me. Excuse me? Never mind. 
I gotta find something to let me in here. What, like a key card? Or some high explosives. Your problem solving skills never cease to amaze me. Hey, at least I'm consistent. I'll give you that. There's a military base nearby. They may have something useful there. Your problem solving skills never cease to amaze me. Alright. After that dialogue, coming through that tower, there will be some harpies to deal with. Go ahead and disable these guns. They don't do any good anyway. And then for the third secret, you're going to climb up on here. And I said climb up on here. Eh, eh. Come on, let me up. Why, why isn't it? Am I being affected by the half a foot too short while recording problem? I think I am. Hey, yeah, come on, let me up. There we go. Use the ladder, come up here, and get a minigun. Then, grab what loot you can. And watch out for the ambush of Nars. And there is all kinds of loot. Or there are all kinds of loot. Including sniper ammo and armor and everything. But one other thing you're going to want is a key card. Once you get this key card though, you're going to have to deal with something rather annoying. Because just out of your view range, A noom has spawned over here. As long as you're prepared for it, it shouldn't be an issue. You can use a key card to get in here, get some more armor, some sniper ammo. And speaking of sniper ammo, a whole flock of harpies has arrived. So, don't, whoops, don't be afraid to use your ammo on them. I missed one. Ow. Where are you? Oh, there's another one. Okay, that should be all the harpies. Get some more ammo. And I'm going to come back in here real quick and get even more. There should still be some left. As well as over here. Alright. Next. Need to head into that area. That uh, initialized the dialogue. Now, I grabbed those rockets first. You can use the key card to get in there once you get the key card, but uh, I like to grab the rockets first just in case something goes awry with the uh, Noom. But anyway, use some C4 to blow up Abinson, the door. Come for the temples. Stay. Oh, baby, I missed you. He was saying, come for the temples, stay for the explosions or something like that. But anyway... Okay, explosives full. Got that. The ammo. Alright. It's a bunch of stuff to deal with. Not the least of which is one of these. And accompanying the mechs, you may have noticed them, are spiders. Or whatever they are.
Ow. And they are coming from a couple of different directions, too. So watch your back. I think... No, I hear one. Where are you? Stuck on a wall, excellent. All right. Reload on ammo. Ow, walked right into it. Alright, time to do the clear cha-cha. Where'd you go? Oh, I missed! Alright! Almost done with this little part. There are a few more bad guys over there. Nothing too horrible yet. Anyway, after you're done dealing with them, go ahead and make sure you've gotten all the loot that you can from in there. Press on ahead. Or backpedal, like me. There is another cave demon to deal with. A couple sniper rounds to take him out. And there are some bulls. So have your sniper hand uh, sniper gun handy. There we go. After you take all them out, reload, get loot, and then head towards this little temple here. But don't go in just yet. There's some kamikazes to deal with. As well as a few rocketeers. And then, instead of going in, go past it, over this direction. You will find a bunch of clears. Some of which like to just stand still and get stuck. It's kind of weird. But, let's see. Make sure I don't have any of them surprising me here. Okay, good. Whoops. Come back over here. And over in the corner. First, you'll hear a bunch of clear spawning. And they'll throw stuff at you, but they won't charge. Not all of them, anyway.
Oh, that didn't work. Ah. But the reason why they have appeared... Is there's a tomb just behind me here. Oh, I missed. Actually, if you go in, I think you're pretty safe. But once you go in, have like a rocket launcher or something handy because there's a little tiny noom that spawn or uh yeah noom and he is just as deadly as the big ones but there's some health and some rockets in there and that's secret number three or no that's secret number four i'm sorry secret number four Alright. Anyway, after you deal with this area, go ahead and come into this temple here. And it will trigger a dialogue once you get a little ways in. Hit a dead end here, Quinn. I'm in a big hall with a statue in it. Who is it? I'm not exactly on a first name basis with the Egyptian royal family. Is it a man or a woman? Pretty sure it's a dude. Hard to tell, though. He's wearing a dress. He's holding a rod. Does that help? Is there an empty pedestal next to it? Ding, ding, ding. A prize for the pretty lady. Okay, good. That's Ramsey the Great. The missing statue is of Nefertari, his wife. Archaeologists have never been able to find it. The hieroglyphics say that joining the royal couple together will open the door to eternity. I love it when they talk in riddles. We think this is a secret entrance to the time lock control room. We just need to find the other statue. Perfect. All I need to do is succeed where the world's best archaeologists have failed for the last 200 years. They didn't have that bracelet. They also didn't have my way with words. And by words, I mean rocket launchers. See if you can find a Syrian door somewhere around there. The statue may be inside. I live to please. All right. After you head that way a little bit, uh, Kamikazes come from out of the woodwork and try to just make your life miserable in general. And if you get stuck in a corner, they can succeed. Especially because the Kamikazes are not alone. Woo! Missed that one. Ah. You can probably see and or hear it. There is a scrapjack. Oh no! Or two, and some bowls. Ha! <sighs> but once everything's cleared out, you uh, have free reign on the area, at least for a little while. Go ahead and load up on any ammo you may want, and armor and everything. And come into this little alcove, and there's some more of those wonderful C4 charges. Get what you can because it's going to make going into this tomb a little bit nicer ah go away because those little space monkeys are everywhere
And it's so much easier to deal with them if there are no columns for them to climb and hide behind. All right. That should be enough clearing out for now. Might be a couple left in here. All right, when you get up to the top of the first landing, come in and turn around and walk up to the statue. Your bracelet will activate it. And there's a lever to flip. Go ahead and do that. Collect other loot. I hear you. Go straight across, and likewise, there's another statue with another lever. And it will show you that it has opened some doors. Is that all of them? No, I still hear one. Oh, well. These doors are behind these statues here. And what you have to do behind each one is a little bit of a puzzle. You go in, and each time you solve the puzzle, one of the four doors here will open. So let's go ahead and do that. The first one, hop in the water. And let me get my bearings. Uh, there should be a lever down in the water somewhere for you to flip that I am not seeing. Hold on. Maybe it's under the water. I never can remember. Oh, there it is. Under the stairs. Okay. Flip the lever and it will raise these stairs so you can flip another one and these stairs are on a timer. That lever raises the water level so you can reach that one which will continue raising the water level so you can get up here and throw the first puzzle lever. Next, come in here and go down the ramp. There are some stairs here that once you get past them, they retract so you cannot get back up. And there is this winding pathway of statues and corridors and everything. And what you need to do first, where's the lever here? Flip those levers so this door slides back so you can get in. And come in here and go all the way back and to the right. Flip this. And then come in here and flip that. And then come in here. What this will do is allow you to... Whoops, I went in the wrong one. It will allow you to come in here. Whoops. Hold on, I got turned around. I'm trying to do this too fast. There's that button. Which opens that door. And then... Ah! Right. I got turned around. Apologies. Alright. Let's try this again. There's a flight of stairs here, which leads up to that next lever. And then you're stuck in here until you hit this button. And then to get out, you hit that button again. It opens this. And you can go around here, I believe. Yes. And then you're done with that part of the puzzle. Find your way back out. And you'll see the stairs have come back out for you to climb. And also, while you're in that room, you seem to run a little faster. I don't know if that's just 
my perception or if that's actually the case. Anyway, the next one over. Kind of fun. Come down. Likewise, another flight of stairs. Go off to the right and flip this lever. So this column lines up here. Then, what you'll want to do is flip, let's see here, this lever, or that button rather, then come over here and flip, where you go, that button, and that button. Actually, I probably did that in a reversed order. Yeah, I'm not going to make that jump. Well, maybe I can. Nope, can't. Alright, bear with me. Basically what happens is, this button raises these stairs. The button on that column turns this. And the button on this column scoots the column down. So, what you want to do is this, that, and this. So there is a particular order. Climb the stairs, get up on top of here, land on the platform. And then land on this. Okay, good. Not quite done yet, though. Hop up on here. And walk across. It's a lot easier to just walk across. And then wait for that column to go underneath. Then when it stops, run jump and jump up here. Lever number three. Come back out, you'll find that the stairs have uh, pushed back out so you can climb again. And then off to the fourth puzzle room, which isn't so much a puzzle as a pain in the butt. There are these stone pillars that just fly out and make your life miserable. But if you come all the way down the side, the lever is on the right, and you don't have to worry about anything. There is also this little blade that comes through and, and flings you all the way back here. And don't worry, those pillars don't squish you. That was the blade there. But the pillars don't squish you, or at least I have not gotten squished by them. But once you activate all four, you get a statue. Then exit here and be prepared for a little bit of a combat, including another noom or two. I hear you. I knew there was still another one. All right. There are also some harpies who have spawned. But your main objective is to head towards the first tomb. But I'm going to ignore everything. And just come in here. Oh my. Where are you? And there's a cutscene and the end of the level. But there you go. All four secrets in less than 45 minutes. That is the level Together Forever. Actually, it would have probably taken a couple minutes less if I hadn't goofed up on that puzzle. But anyway, 
that is it for this level so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments or suggestions please feel free to leave a message in my comment section below or you can message me directly at throne of night on twitter uh, if you like this video and you like what i'm doing here please feel free to give a like i do appreciate that and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out but i'm going to get to work on the next one so thank you once again for watching this is thorn of night and i will talk to you Later.